We have leveraged the benchmarks that are within the modules um, to really try to help us set, you know, to understand where we are um, in comparison. So again, being a small plan, how are we operating? So we actually are an early adopter of the MCG analytic product. Um, so we are, we, we've just unearthed some of our preliminary information and already it's been quite actionable um, in that, you know, we were looking that, you know, the big question these days are one of them that, you know, Dr. Rivkin talked about, but it's that observation stay versus inpatient stay and, and the like. So the um, MCG analytics tool is, is really helping us to take our claims data and then um, you know, really combine it with the MCG analytics or the um, the um, guidelines. And so the, the difference with that is, I'm sure you know, but um, with the DRGs, you could have five different DR, you could have one DRG with five different guidelines. And so if you have someone with a hysterectomy, is it an abdominal or, you know, is it um, laparoscopic? And then that's going to make a difference as to the, the level of care that they need or how many days they have. So it really helps us to start to look at where are we really performing well against benchmark and where do we have opportunity and one of the great things as a small plan um, comparing with others is we found that we're actually performing quite well um, and when I think about you know one of the questions that we were asked to look at it's like how is MCG helps you with ROI and although I don't have raw data to share with you what I can say is that um, the fact that we are um, you know really being able to benchmark our benchmark ourselves well against other um, large payers because it's a large cohort is really affirming that um, I'm sure we have opportunity to improve the way in which we're leveraging the MCG um, tools uh, but it's quite gratifying and it's something that we can share Share with our, um, you know, our C-suite and our board of directors to say we're doing okay. Um, and and with the um, analytics tool, then we're able to then really drill down so we get the high-level overview of where we're performing well. But it also gives us insight as to where there's opportunity for our team and our performance because we'll be able to see, oh, we're really not doing as well, say, with these readmissions. We can hone in on that. But then we're also able to take it and look at the provider and the system performance and say, well, we're in the same region. It's our, it's our own proprietary network, but we have this system who really seems to be an outlier. And so although we haven't had those conversations with providers yet, that is how we hope to leverage that as well. So having the trusted data that it's claims data, I think that MCG being you know associated still with Milliman as a really respected actuarial partner um, helps to give us more credible information that when we're going out with the providers to talk about that and have a collaborative discussion because the new perspective but has always been our perspective um, to really talk about that give and take as to how we can how we can work well together um, my team and our job in medical management is really to act as an advocate for the member so that they have that we're removing the barriers they need to get the care that their benefit, you know, premium is paying for, but then also leverage that with stewardship for the entire population. And so walking that fine line, um, but really, you know, being that advocate and steward.